Yeah, hello guys, and welcome to part two of scraping a ten dollar account on Full Meta Trader Five. And uh, I'll be using the step index breakout strategy. If you have not watched part one of this video, I think you should try and watch it. I'll drop the link on the description of this video so that you really understand the details of the strategy I'm using. One thing you should understand about this synthetic indices is that after consolidation, there's always a breakout. Though we do experience fake breakouts, but if you adopt a good risk management, you close on profit at the end of the day. Currently, this is a ten dollar account. Let me check. Uh, okay, currently I have ten dollars here, and uh, this trade here was a mistake. Actually, my network froze, so I had to close it. Remember, if you're escaping, make sure you have a sound internet connection. So currently, what I'm looking for is for consolidation first. After consolidation, if it breaks out with three bearish candlesticks, I'll enter a sell. And if I see uh, three bullish candlesticks, I'll enter a buy after consolidation. A typical example of consolidation is what you see right here. You see there was a consolidation here and there was a breakout at this level where it formed three candlesticks. So if I was monitoring this chart at this point, I would have entered a sell at this level. So if I had entered a sell, before I get to this level, I would have taken my first profit. So once my entry conditions are met, I will continue this video for now. I'll just have to pause it. Okay, guys, another breakout condition that you need to understand. In part one, I told you once you see a consolidation and breakouts on the consolidation zone with either three bearish candlestick, it means it's going down. And if it breaks out out of the consolidation zone with three bullish candlesticks, that means is breaking out upwards so you enter a buy currently this is the level of resistance and a reversed so if this last candle close bearish i'm going to enter a sell and it just did so i'm going for a sell i'm going for a sell and i'll be risking one dollar on this trade so what will happen is i'll risk one dollar on this trade once you give me negative one dollar i'll close the trade and if you give me up to a $2 profit, I will have to take my first profit. I'll close part of the profit and allow the rest of the trade to continue running, guys. Let me go back and see. Okay. This level I entered. So because this consolidated, I have to close right now. I have to close this completely. if you enter the trade and it's consolidated at the point of your entry the best thing you need to do is to close the trade guys you have to close the trade another trade opportunity i'll be looking out for is after this consolidation if it breaks out and gives me three bearish candlesticks that means i'm going for a sell it's forming the third bullish candlestick it did a little consolidation here and if we form this three bullish candlesticks normally i'm supposed to enter but because it's on a resistance zone i'm not gonna enter a buy i just have to wait for another trade opportunity but if it hits resistance zone this resistance level here and it forms another three bearish candlesticks i will see enter itself so i'll continue this video once i see another trade opportunity guys okay guys just as i said earlier this is one of the reasons i didn't enter a buy it got to the resistance zone and it reversed this is the second candlestick which i believe is going to close bearish so if the third candlestick close bearish i'm going to enter a sell because one of the entry conditions is after a consolidation if you see three bearish or bullish candlestick that's when you enter the market or when it reverses within a resistance zone and gives you three bearish candlesticks that's when you enter a sell. And remember, this is a one minute time frame. This is on one minute time frame, guys. So, this forming the third candlesticks. If this third candlestick close bearish, I will enter a sell. So, if it doesn't close bearish, I'll still have to wait for another trade opportunity, guys. So, that's just it. Okay, guys, it closed bearish. So, I'm going for another sell. I'm going for another sell. I'm risking one dollar on this trade, guys. Remember, I'm risking one dollar on this trade. When it gives me negative one dollar, I'm gonna close the trade. If it gives me two dollar, I'll close part of my profit. So let's see how it's going. Okay, 
doing as planned so currently i'm on uh, 135 dollars so i'll take my first take profit now so i'll just take my first take profit which is one dollar so i've taken my first profit as you can see my first take profit is one dollar twenty cent so what will happen now is i'll go to this trade and set my stop loss to the level of my entry so that even if it reverses i won't have to lose anything so i'll set it to 8558.8 modify 8558.8 so i've set my stop loss to i set my stop loss almost at the same level of my entry so even if it reverses i won't have to lose a dime i can leave this trade to run as long as i want and i can close it anytime i want so guys that's it so if it consolidates within this level this current level if i notice that it's consolidating i'll have to close it on profit i'll have no matter the profit is giving me i'll just close it it's forming the third candlestick and it's still within the same zone this is a consolidation so i'll just have to go ahead and close the trade on profit so i'm up by today i started with uh, ten dollar and some cents so i'm up by two dollar sixty five cent and remember this is a this was a ten dollar account so guys that will be all for this video if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new talk to you in my next video